so hello everyone um i'm just coming on because i'm about to close for this evening i'm about to close the store for this evening but what i wanted to come on and say is that i had a consultation today and i was talking to a sister and she um has a business and she's just starting out and she said something that made me say hey let me go and talk to everyone about this now i've been in business for uh over 40 years over 40 years well over 40 years and i am 55 now and what i do know is that we as business owners even when you're just starting you have to speak um money into existence you have to speak clientele into existence every morning you get up you must think that today i'm going to strike it rich you have to really really believe this you have to say today is going to be great if today is not great it's coming my clientele is gonna just boost and bang everywhere real soon the sister was telling me that she has the money to buy all of her supplies and and it won't hurt her pockets you know um but she didn't want to buy anything because she felt like my clientele is not even like that so i'm not going to spend all my money on that you know we have to stock up in our businesses as though we're going to have a massive overflow that same day you have to buy supplies as though and you know you have to believe and know that hey this is going to sell this is going to sell because i am all of this and i am all of that you have to understand and you have to speak that into existence if you carry the attitude that well no i'm not going to buy spend all my money with this this is a girl i'm not going to do this until the clientele comes i'm not going to do this i'm not if you're a hairstylist you should stock up on all your hair supplies you should think to yourself that hey i'm gonna have a hell of a clientele it's coming it's coming and put in the work to get that if you're herbalist you should have tons of um holistic medicine holistic herbs you should have everything that you can possibly imagine and you should think to yourself and know to yourself that you can do this it's going to happen you have to put that you have to put those thoughts out into the universe and you have to put them in your brain because whatever you think however you feel the things that you say all of your thoughts go into the universe and whatever you put in the universe whether it's verbally mentally or physically or financially that's what you get back so if you wake up every morning and have an attitude like oh i know ain't nobody gonna come today oh let me go open up my beauty shop let me go open my boutique girl ain't nobody gonna come that's exactly what's gonna happen ain't nobody gonna come you never ever should worry about money when you're an entrepreneur don't worry about the money coming keep your thoughts on how to get the money keep your thoughts on what am i going to do to better myself wipe all those thoughts out of your mind about how you don't have it how you can't get it the people are not coming stay prayed up do what you're supposed to do as a business owner think positive think big and surround yourself around positive big thinking people surround yourself around people who have more than you so that you can have more than your thoughts so that you can have more than you more than 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 than, than you need pray about it and pray real hard but also when you pray be careful when you pray because sometimes god give you just what you ask for so you have to also be ready you have to be ready to receive those blessings if you constantly if you're constantly praying oh god send me send me a big clientele god send me a lot of people to my store god send me a lot of people to this send me a lot of people to that 
If you're an esthetician, God send me a lot of people today. If you're a uh, nail technician, God send me a lot of people. I need the money. And you don't, and you're praying for all of this, but you don't go out and buy the supplies because you feel that you're not going to get the clientele. But what you're forgetting about is that you're constantly asking God for these things. And when he give it to you, you don't have any supplies because you thought that you weren't going to get it. But then again, you're contradicting yourself because you're constantly praying, praying, you're constantly praying for this blessing that you are not preparing yourself to be able to handle. If you're a baker, don't ask God to send you people to buy 50 cakes a week when you don't have no flour. You ain't got no butter. You ain't got no sugar. Because in your mind, you're thinking, ain't nobody going to buy my stuff. But every night you go to bed, you're praying for God help me with my business. God help me with my business. But on the other hand, you're not doing anything yourself. So we have to stop always getting down on our knees asking God to help us and we're not helping ourselves and you have to believe in yourselves if you're asking God to help you but then you don't have no faith and you don't have no faith in yourself then what are you going to do if he if God gives it to you if he answers all your prayers you go to bed tonight and you pray God give me customs give me customs I need God I need to make ten thousand dollars this month and Lord and behold, when you wake up in the morning, the phone constantly ringing, phone constantly ringing, phone constantly ringing, uh, emails, emails, uh, people coming to the store. You know, God can send an overflow instantly. In 20 seconds, in 10 seconds, you can make 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 100 K in 20 seconds just because you prayed and you asked him for it. But it can all go to hell if you don't put in the work before you start praying for it okay we have to remember that and you have to know that you're great you have to know that you're uh meaningful you have to know that you're essential you have to know i gotta get up off my butt and stop just praying and put in the work myself as well okay so i just want to tell you guys that don't be afraid to spend your money for what you are put here on earth to do spend that money and pray that you get what you what you need and also pray that when God sends it to you that you're able to handle it but spend the money put yourself out here as though you're gonna be the greatest one of the greatest entrepreneurs that you're gonna be the greatest hairstylist the greatest nail technician the greatest herbalist you're gonna be the greatest esthetician you're gonna have the greatest boutique you have to think like that if you um have a uh grocery store my you have to say my grocery store is going to be lit my grocery store is going to be the best in the neighborhood the best in the community i'm going to have the best um uh foods i'm gonna have, you have to think that way and also put the time in and the money in and remember stop praying for things that you may not can handle okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys later peace and blessings oh don't forget comment like subscribe and share okay all that good stuff all right talk to you later peace and blessings